And during his state visit to the UK, President Yoon attended the Royal Banquet, celebrating the upgraded Seoul-London relations. King Charles gave a toast with Korean poet Yoon dong Joo's quote, with Yoon replying with a reference to Shakespeare. Our Oh Soo-young reports. Quoting timeless poetry, President Yoon Seo-go and King Charles III celebrated 140 years of diplomatic ties between South Korea and the United Kingdom at a state banquet in Buckingham Palace. The South Korean leader and First Lady Kim gon attended an official banquet hosted by King Charles in the opulent palace ballroom. Thanking King Charles for his hospitality, Yoon said that at the heart of Korea-UK relations has been their blood alliance in the fight for peace and democracy. He noted that the UK had dispatched the second largest number of troops to aid the South during the 1950-53 Korean War. Britain was the first European country to establish formal diplomatic links with Korea, signing a treaty of friendship and commerce in 1883. Both the President and the King agreed that their decades-long ties had been bolstered not only diplomatically and economically, but through cultural exchanges. Yoon highlighted Britain's model of parliamentary democracy, literary and scientific excellence, and musicians like the Beatles as strong sources of inspiration for Koreans and the world. Referencing Shakespeare's sonnets, Yoon raised his glass to the future as the two governments upgrade their relations to a global strategic partnership. To me, my fair friend, the United Kingdom, you never can be old. King Charles also highlighted the importance of shared values and quoted the words of Korean poet Yoon Rongju, whose works inspired hope and resistance against Japan's colonial rule of Korea before and during World War II. Korea's preservation of its sense of self amid bewildering change was perhaps what the poet Yoon Dong Chu, who so tragically died in captivity on the very eve of Korea's liberation, anticipated when he wrote, while the wind keeps blowing, my feet stand upon a rock. While the river keeps flowing, my feet stand upon a hill. The Thai and Tiara affair was held on the South Korean leader's first official day of a state visit, with some 170 guests, including eminent figures in politics, business and arts, including Samsung chief Lee Jae-yong and K-pop group Blackpink. Surrounded by vibrant displays of flowers in red, purple and pink, the horseshoe-shaped table was adorned with gold gilded plates holding egg and spinach tartlets, Windsor pheasant and a mango ice cream dessert, and decorations of pink sugar flowers resembling Korea's national flower mugunga or hibiscus. The South Korean president's official visit began on Tuesday with a royal greeting by the Prince and Princess of Wales, who drove with them to the Horse Guard Parade ceremonial ground to meet the King and Queen. The President and the King observed a 41-gun salute, 21 reserved for heads of state, with an extra 20 guns added, given the royal venue, before heading to Buckingham Palace in a carriage procession. Following a private luncheon, Yoon was given a tour of South Korea-related items in the royal collection, including a letter sent by an Emperor of Korea's Joseon dynasty, Ko Jong, to Queen Victoria, photos of Queen Elizabeth II's visit to South Korea, and the vase gifted to her. President Yoon and the First Lady will call again at the palace to bid farewell to King Charles on the last day of their state visit on Thursday. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News, London.